Hello, my name is Callie. Thank you for joining me. This is the first in a series of chair exercise videos. It's for everybody, but might be specially suitable if you're less mobile or if you're working a lot at a desk, you can use this to take a short break and iron out the kinks in your back and neck. So, sitting on a normal chair, preferably with no arms, nice straight back. We're going to just breathe in, lifting your arms out to the side and above your head. And if you can, join your palms together and look at your thumbs. If you can't get your hands together, just go as far as you can, that's absolutely fine. Then we're going to release the hands and bring the neck up nice and long. Make lots of space around your neck and shoulders, shoulders down. And then you're going to turn the palms and push through the air as if the air is really thick. So you're really resisting the air as you bring your arms back down. You're going to put your hands on your thighs and slide them down to your knees. So you're curving your back round. Then you're going to reverse, slide your hands up your thighs, arching your back and really try and get your face and your chest to the ceiling. And sliding down again to your knees. Now you're going to clasp your hands in front of you and push your palms away. Then you're going to roll up through the spine. Again, you're trying to get your arms beside your head and you're going to breathe. This is harder than it looks. Breathing in again, releasing the shoulders down, lots of space around your neck. If you can't manage this position, just bring your arms wherever is comfortable. And then we're going to bring the arms back down. You can bring your elbows in first and you're going to put your left hand on the inside of your left knee and just use that to rotate your spine, look behind you and then switch right hand to right knee and rotate. Left hand again and rotate. Just push your hand against the inside of your knee and look behind you. Good, and we're going to do that all again, breathing in. Look at your thumbs. Long neck breathing out and swim down, pressing through the air as you bring your arms down. Lovely, put your hands on your thighs and slide your hands forward, curving your back around and slide your hands up and curve your back the other way. Really try and lift your face and your chest to the ceiling and curving the other way again. This time you're going to clasp your hands with the other finger on top, which feels very strange. Push your palms away, uncurl your spine. You want to try and have your arms next to your ears if you can, lots of space around your neck. Big breath in and out and bring your elbows down and this time right hand to the right knee look behind you and switch and look behind you and switch and last time great if you want to do that more often just press your pause button and do a couple of more by yourself or put the video back to the beginning now we're going to do a stretch that goes to the side so we're just going to let your arms loose beside you Again, sitting up nice and straight and the back of your neck should feel really nice and long. You're just going to let your arms float up to the side. Really feel your shoulder blades rotating as you lift the arms. They should be nice and flat on your spine. Float the arms up and you're going to keep your feet and your sits bones square on the chair. You're going to tilt to the side. And you're going to look at the bottom hand. And just rotate your neck, look at your top hand. And again, rotate your neck, look at the bottom hand. And then we're going to feed this arm through so that your palms are facing each other. And then you can just gently drop forward just as far as you can go. It doesn't matter how far that is. Just let your neck relax and roll up through the spine. Again, keeping your sit bones nice and firmly on the chair. 
and let your arms drop to the side. And again, floating the arms up to the side and keeping everything firmly on the chair, we're going to tilt to the side. And you're going to look at the bottom hand and rotate your neck, look at the top hand and rotate again, look at the bottom hand, feeding the top hand through, palms facing each other and then just drop down. Relax your neck and roll up through the spine again. And again, if you want to do more of those, you can press pause and do a couple of more of those by yourself. Now, here's a good stretch. It's one of my favourite stretches. You're going to start with your arms out to the side. Again, everything nice and tall. You're going to cross your arms as far as you can. And you're going to turn your palms outwards to the wall. And then you're going to feed them round so that your palms are together. I'm going to turn slightly so you can see what that looks like from a different angle. And then what you need to do is pull your hands away from you and your elbows away from you and then pull your shoulders down. So you should feel a really good, nice stretch between the shoulder blades when you do this. You can hold this for as long as you like, but you must keep breathing. If you can't manage this, it's quite difficult, then all you have to do is the same thing and just go as far as you can. However far you can go is absolutely fine. You're still going to help with the stretch between the shoulder blades. When you've had enough, you need to keep breathing. Just unfurl your arms and shuffle your shoulders around a bit and we'll go the other side. So again, lifting up to the side, cross as far as you can, this time with the other hand on top, palms away and then palms together. Okay, I'll show you that from the other angle. So you're going to pull your hands away from you, elbows away from you, and then pull your shoulders down. Good. Just keep breathing. And you can hold that for as long as you like. Make sure nothing's hurting. If it is, just stop. And release your hands, release your elbows, and give yourself some sugar. Very last thing, very simple, just breathe in, lift your shoulders right up to your ears. And as you breathe out, you're going to drop them down. And again, breathe in. All the way up to your ears, and out. Last one. move everything around. That was very good. Next video will be about keeping your hips, knees and ankles mobile. Again, all be from the chair. Look forward to seeing you then. Thanks. Bye.